This is how to draw a horseshoe inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do is activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now zoom into the grid a little bit, select the pen tool and start drawing in the middle of two crosshairs right here. Then go to this crosshair right here and three small squares to the right. Then go to this crosshair right here and go two small squares up. Now complete the shape. When you're done, you should have a shape like this, but obviously there's a couple of more steps to transform this shape into a horseshoe. So while still having the pen tool selected, hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and drag this anchor point to the right until the handle meets this crosshair right here. Then go to this anchor point right here and drag this anchor point up five small squares. So this is four and this is five. Do the same thing in the other side, only that this time you need to drag down. So now we have a more rounded shape. Then go to the selection tool, then select the shape, select the fill and disable the fill. After that, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. So now we have a shape on top of the original shape. With this shape selected, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key and expand the shape five small squares. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then go to edit again, copy, edit again, and paste in front. And this time hold down the Alt key and the Shift key again and expand it two small squares. So now we have a shape like this. Then select the pen tool again, start drawing from this corner right here Go all the way to this heavy line right here and go two small squares up. Put another anchor point right here. Then press enter on your keyboard to draw a new line. Go three small squares down. Go to this heavy line right here and three small squares down from this point right here. One, two, three. And press enter again. Do the same thing in the other side. Like this. And I know what you're thinking, but we are drawing a horseshoe and not a toilet seat. So please stick around. And if you like this video so far, please consider giving it a like. So now go to the selection tool and select the entire horseshoe slash toilet seat. Then go to the shape builder. Then hold down the Alt key to get this minus sign next to the cursor and subtract all the shapes that we don't want. So these shapes, this shape, these shapes inside the horseshoe, and these two excess lines in both sides. Then release the Alt key to get a plus sign next to the cursor and merge all these shapes together. Then pick the selection tool and while having the horseshoe selected, go to effect, go to stylize and go to round corners. Then click the preview button and choose the radius that you want. I will go for five pixels and click okay. When you're happy with the rounded corners, go to object and click expand appearance. This will make the path follow the rounded corner effect. Now with the horseshoe selected, we can select a fill instead of a stroke and disable the snap to grid feature. So go to view and disable snap to grid. Then we need some holes for the horseshoe. To create these, simply go for the ellipse tool, hold down the Alt key and the shift key and draw a circle like this. Then with the circle selected, go to the top of the screen, make sure this link is on, and here you can choose how wide you want the hole. I will make it 13 pixels. Pick the selection tool once again, and while having the hole selected, make the hole wide for now. Then place the hole on the horseshoe, hold down the Alt key to duplicate it, and put the duplication further down. Then once again duplicate this one, and put it further down. Select all three holes by holding down the shift key. Go to this button right here, make sure align to selection is on and select vertical distribute center. This will make an equal spacing between the holes. Now deselect the holes and now we just need to align them to the middle of the horseshoe. So select each hole and move it with the arrow keys to the left and right. This looks fine I think. Now select the horseshoe and the holes. Go to the pathfinder menu right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. Then go to this button right here that says Minus Front 
and this will punch out holes into the horseshoe. So now if we wanted to place the holes in the right side of the horseshoe by free hand, it would be almost impossible to make it completely symmetrical. Therefore we want to do this step instead. So select view again and enable the snap to grid feature. Then go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from the middle right here and cover the exact half of this horseshoe. Pick the selection tool, select both the horseshoe and the rectangle and once again go to the pathfinder panel and click minus front. That got rid of half of our horseshoe. So we need to reflect this half of the horseshoe to create a whole horseshoe again. For this let's select the reflect tool, hold down the alt key to get these small dots next to the cursor and click on this anchor point right here. Then select vertical and click copy. Now we have an exact reflection of the left side of the horseshoe, which means that this horseshoe is perfectly symmetrical. So pick the selection tool again, select both shapes, go to the pathfinder menu and this time click unite. And this will merge the two shapes together. So let's zoom in to the bottom just to make sure it's correctly merged. And this looks very nice. Zoom out again, pick the selection tool, select the horseshoe and give it a color that you like. For this video I will just be using this default color right here. So now we need to add some shadows for the horseshoe. And to do this make sure the horseshoe is selected, then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front and go to edit one more time and paste in front one more time. So now we have three shapes on top of each other. And with the top shape selected we need to move it a little bit to the right. But to have more control over this movement, we need to deselect Snap to Grid again. So go to View and turn off Snap to Grid. Now with the arrow key, we can simply nudge the horseshoe to the right. One, two, three. Then while holding down the Shift key, make sure to add the layer underneath to the selection. Then select the Shape Builder tool, hold down the Alt key to subtract and subtract everything in the right side. And also these holes right here. Then go to the selection tool, select the fill and give these shapes a darker color. I will just select this default color right here. Then select the top horseshoe and once again go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front and paste in front one more time. This time we need to move the top layer three times to the left instead. So one, two, three. Then hold down the shift key and once again select the layer just underneath. Select the Shape Builder tool, hold down the Alt key to subtract and this time subtract everything but the holes. And also subtract the left side of the hole. Pick the Selection tool and while having the holes selected, select the shadow color for these holes as well. And here we have a beautiful horseshoe.